Hello and welcome once again to this channel, very much the Paul Atreides of criticism, riding the sandworm of mainstream media discourse. But before we get into it, here's something very important. Hello, I'm outside Crouch End Waterstones in London's North London, because it's here on Tuesday, April the 16th at 7pm that I'm going to be reading from my new collection of short fiction, The Body in the Mobile Library and Other Stories. And you might be asking, What's that got to do with me? If you are asking that, frankly, it's not helpful. So lose the attitude, click on the link and come along. The last time Sam Taylor Johnson directed a movie about drugs, it was A Million Little Pieces in 2013, based on James Frey's notoriously inauthentic memoir of addiction. And the last time she made a film about a music legend, it was Nowhere Boy in 2009, about John Lennon. Now she brings the two together in her best work so far, Back to Black, an urgent, warm, heartfelt dramatisation of the life of Amy Winehouse, the brilliant London soul singer who died of alcohol poisoning at 27 in 2011. It's a movie with the simplicity, even the naivety, of a fan tribute, but there's a thoroughly engaging and sweet-natured performance from Marisa Abella as Amy. From primary school no, no, no. to sell-out concerts. It's going to happen one of these days. Boys like yours, got to. Well, it's one of the best I've ever heard. That's my daughter. That's my Amy. I met someone tonight. Stay lucky, Amy. Got an eye for the bad boys. Jack O'Connell is a coolly charismatic and muscular presence as her no-good husband and addiction enabler, Blakefield, is civil. O'Connell can't help being a smart, capable screen presence and makes Blake a lot more sympathetic and less rodenty than he appeared in real life. And yet part of the reasonable point of this film is that he was a human being, afraid that Amy would leave him for another celebrity and that media images are in any case misleading. There's a lovely, if faintly sucrose scene in which the already boozed up Blake first meets Amy in the Good Mixer pub in Camden Town, already famous for its association with 90s Cool Britannia and Blur, buzzing with his horse racing winnings and airily unfazed when Amy challenges him to a game of pool and cheekily lets her, and us, assume at first that he doesn't know who she is. But of course he does, and even one-ups her in musical knowledge in compelling her to admit that she has never heard or heard of the Shangri-La's leader of the pack, which he puts on the jukebox and extravagantly mimes to. There's a growing sadness in the realisation that this ecstatic first meeting is the first and last time they will ever be truly happy together. Perhaps any movie about Winehouse is going to suffer in comparison with Asif Kapadia's compelling archive mosaic documentary, Amy, from 2015, which delivered us the woman herself and also gave a clearer idea of her demanding musicianship and professionalism, far from the tabloid caricature of non-stop drugginess. But this film tries to intuit the part that romance played in Amy Winehouse's life and the narrative of unhappiness that it created in her work, a poisonous wellspring of inspiration. Taylor Johnson's film is also much more sympathetic to Winehouse's father, Mitch, the cab driver estranged from Amy's mother, who came back into her life to help manage her career and famously counselled against her going to rehab. Mitch comes across better here because he's played with bullish charm and schmaltz by Eddie Marsan. Back to Black is essentially a gentle, forgiving film, and there are other tougher, bleaker ways to put Amy Winehouse's life on screen. But Marisa Abela conveys her tenderness, and perhaps most poignantly of all, her youth, so tellingly at odds with that tough image and eerily mature voice. That's it. Don't forget, my new collection of short fiction, The Body in the Mobile Library and Other Stories, is now available, and there's my reading at Waterstones Crouch End on Tuesday, April the 16th. The link is given below. Please come along.